Hi, it's Alex from Naya.io. This is the express version of the copywriting analysis of Sakshi's voice dot com. Sakshi's uh, Sakshi Shamar. Sakshi Sharma. Sharma, that's her name. Um, she's a gravy for the brain community member. Um, I'm picking those people because it's, you know, they are part of my uh, my favorite voiceover community. I had a quick chat. Uh, I think we had some some interaction on Facebook. And at some point, I promised uh, Sakshi to have a look at her site and, um, you know, do the analysis, the copywriting analysis. So let's go ahead and jump into it. If you would like to get the full analysis, you um, only need to go to naiio slash private. That's N-A-I-I dot I-O slash private. Enter your name and email address, and then you can get access to the complete analysis of uh, Sakshi's voice dot com um, if you're seeing that now it's probably too late because I already published um, I already uh, sent a link to those people who are subscribed to my email list but if you don't want to miss the, the the later analysis then it's better uh, to get on my email list sooner than later right okay so quick um, quick note also that I'll be talking about copywriting mainly. If there's something about design that I'm um, really, really have to point out, I will do that. And I'm on my mobile here. You can see it here. I'm on my mobile um, because people are on their mobiles and they're checking their mobiles. So that's why it's uh, it's important to check the mobile experience. And also Google is um, focusing on the mobile experience first. Okay, so that's important. So the first thing is um, the logo here. Uh, make it bigger. And but John Gardner in the previous analysis, I said uh, it's too big. Uh, here it's actually too small, so you can make it bigger. So it's actually as wide as the the Sakshi's voice thing. Hamburger menu is fine. It's wide enough. It's full screen. It's nice. Um, it's good. Uh, it works. It's cool. Uh, multilingual, versatile voice actor. Um, I was just thinking you to also say versatile voice actress. Um, just to, to make that clear, uh, but I think it's clear from the image below that you are a female. Um, I like that you have the commercial demo reel here, like you can directly play it. I can't hear it right th at the moment just because I'm, my phone is connected to the computer and that's why it somehow doesn't work. So, but that's a problem on my end. Um, so it, it works if, if it's not, uh, if I'm not connected um, here to the computer recording, um, so it's good that, that there's a photo. Sakshi's voice welcomes you. Um, just make it Sakshi welcomes you uh, because it's not, um, you can get away, you can now get personal. You know, it's fine if, if you have the Sakshi's voice here and the brand and so on, the Sakshi, Sakshi, but now it's Sakshi welcomes you. You can even also think about it, thinking about getting rid of it. Um, but uh, it's kind of a nice personal tone and that, that's cool. Um, there's something about here. Have you got written text that needs a voice? Um, it's pretty weak. Uh, think about your target audience who is actually, um, you know, um, you're trying to feel their pain and, and you know the things that they're going through in, that going that are going through in their mind. Have you got written text that needs a voice? No, you. It's more than that. You're not just like a deliverer of of a voice. You are solving a particular problem for for um, um, for, a, for a business, right? So that, that's, that's something to keep in mind. Um, you know, this whole thing is, it's a lot, um, it's talking about general stuff. It's not really appealing, it's, it's general. Um, it's, well, it's not necessarily blah, blah, but it's, it's not really to the point, okay? And also that, that type, typography is like it's changing. It's going from here, line height like that, and then there's a line height like this. It's just changing italics here and then non-italics here is like it's all over the place. Like it's really not pleasant to to listen to it uh, or to read it even. Um, and I'm passionate and versatile voice I can help you to bring your words to life. And that's also again pretty general. Um, I would also avoid this professional VO VOs VA service. That's confusing. Just name it, name it professional voiceover service. Head over to this page uh, is weird um, because why? Why would you move them away for, to this page? Um, 
you know, there's not there's no real sense, there's no real clear direction that I'm that I'm feeling. All of a sudden now she's speaking about her um, bilingual, fluent in English and so on, uh, more than a simple read. What you will get is an audio in preferred language, which is effectively localized for your target audience. Okay, well that's good, but yeah, think about more the what what it brings to the um, to the client in terms of the business. This is too much. Uh, I will. I like that she's saying, yeah, she can work with global clients or work globally in COVID-19 times. Uh, that's uh, probably also necessary. But then this range here, and I know that um, Sark, she's uh, pretty new. I think, I don't know how long, but it's it's not like a 10, 15 year career or so that she's in. Uh, but this is a lot. What, this is not very targeted and this is pretty overwhelming. So I would rather see you excluding me as, as a client um, and, and offering something very targeted and very specific than, than this thing. And this is a general observation that I made with the voiceover industry um, where they just try to offer everything as a jack of all trades. And, and as we, as I know, th th this needs to be properly trained like audiobook narration, e-learning, uh, podcast uh, or animations, you know, these things they need to be properly, uh, you need to be tr properly trained and uh, you can have a career in just this one area, okay? So focus mainly on maybe on ideally one flagship product and then maybe one or two additional ones. But if you have one, str one strong flagship product and service, then offer that, um, I'd really recommend that. This text here, this paragraph is su super general, strong work ethics, great communication skills. Always enjoyed great rapport with all my clients. Where's the proof? I don't, I don't, I don't trust you. I mean, it's nice words, and you have a great, uh, you know, con uh, con conversational style. That's cool, but where's the proof here? It's too, it's too nice, you know. So you know, give me proof, testimonials, even show me, you know, where where are the audiobook narrations, where's the real, the commercial? Yes, that's up here. It's up here. Perfect. Great. But where's the proof for the audio drama and podcasts and animations? There's no proof and there's no even testimonials. So all you need to do um, is call, contact, uh, fill out the form, blah, 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 get in touch. And the get in touch thing is actually hidden. Um, I have to get to the hamburger menu and then it, there's a get in touch. I don't see it if I don't click the hamburger menu button. So get rid of it and also consider that on the mobile this is not visible to the to the person. Um, this is visible. Scroll down to my contact details, fill out the form. That's great. Um, I don't know about the address. I don't know why you would want to put that. It's just a barrier. Um, and here's my uh, my last um, point of critique is uh, there's a contact me thing form here. There's something like a it's a quiz where at the end you will be asked to enter your details and then I can subscribe to this form and I don't even know what I get. Three, these are three things to, to contact you and this is super confusing. Um, so make it more straightforward and also tell me if, if, you, if there's a subscrip subscription form here, tell me what the benefit is of, of sub subscribing to that. But three call to action it's, uh, actions effectively here Super confusing. Uh, I wouldn't buy. I wouldn't buy something from you. Although you have a nice photo, you make a friendly appearance, um, you know. And you can even say there's a fourth uh, way to contact you, call to action, which is the chat. And again, like you know, remove these things that that distract from the from the overall ex experience. Like make it a straightforward process for me. Um, if I want to contact you, uh, or if you say, hey, here's my process. Um, fill out this questionnaire, um, enter your details, and then I will get back to you. You know, but now this is like wishy-washy. It's like it's you know trying to offer everything and you're offering nothing. Okay. So yeah, so that's the that's the express version. Again, if you want to have the full, complete, in-depth um, analysis, then go to naio slash private n a i i dot io slash private uh, enter your name and email address and then you get the complete in-depth analysis and i'll see you next week bye bye